aliens are real, and now we can officially talk about it. Not so long ago, several high-ranking people made this claim at once, and I suggest you listen to what they say. It goes without saying that many people have been talking about the fact that aliens exist for many years. But earlier, such people were treated as freaks, abnormal, or at least uneducated. Like the one who thinks so just didn't study well in school and stuff. But when scientists talk about aliens, and not some no-names at that, but scientists from the best educational institutions, the matter takes a different turn. Just a few months ago, there was a conference in New York, at which was a professor at Stanford University, Gary Nolan, a Nobel Prize nominee and a holder of a bunch of patents. It seems to me that such a scientist should at least be listened to. Nolan has stated with certainty that aliens are real. Moreover, he's convinced that they've been on Earth and ancient people saw them, but didn't give it any importance, as some of the current primitive tribes do not give much importance to boats or helicopters. For them, it's something incomprehensible, about which it's meaningless to even think. Moreover, according to the professor, there are aliens on Earth right now. For now, let's listen to Stephen Greer, another person who's convinced that aliens are real. He believes that aliens have not settled on Earth, but periodically come to us on reconnaissance missions to study us. According to Greer, the number of visits increased after mankind developed nuclear weapons. Is it a coincidence that it's been since the 1940s that we've been seeing UFOs and other alien things in the sky constantly? Greer thinks aliens are concerned about weapons of mass destruction. They see us as a troubled civilization. Greer believes that the authorities have known about aliens for a long time, but they hide this fact from the world. A similar opinion is held by David Grush, a former CIA officer. This year, he told under oath some frightening details about aliens, UFOs, and not only. According to Grush, the U.S. has known about the existence of aliens for almost a century. They hunt for UFOs and shoot them down, and then send the wreckage and fragments to secret laboratories. There, they modify or reconstruct them or use the fragments for their own purposes to create a new generation of equipment, because extraterrestrial technology is much better developed than ours. Grush says that the U.S. also has biological material of aliens. It's not clear what they need it for, but they'll obviously do something with it or have already done. Confessions from three people, well known in certain circles, who have information are great, of course, but we can only believe their words and nothing more. As you know, I personally want to believe their words because there are a lot of interesting artifacts that can confirm the existence of aliens and UFOs. Let's start with the artifacts. For example, on the island of Nuku Hiva, which is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you can find such strange statues bass reliefs and figurines, a humanoid body, huge round eyes, a mouth located low, an elongated head. This is the typical appearance of an alien. No one still knows who exactly created these statues. Theorists are sure that a whole colony of aliens lived on the island, they conducted experiments on humans, and the statues left by them depict hybrids between humans and aliens. I think the place for experiments is perfect because Nukuhiva is very far away. And what they found in Serbia is a strange statue of a four-eyed creature. Scientists estimate its age at 7,000 years. Some believe that the figurine depicts an alien, and some believe that we see a spacesuit mask. 7,000 years ago, only aliens could have had spacesuits. Around the same time that the statue was made in Serbia, the Hongshan culture was born in China. Finds are still being discovered in the northeast of the Celestial Empire. We are interested in these jade figurines, strange humanoids with huge eyes and giant heads. What if aliens came to Earth 7,000 years ago and they were immortalized differently in Serbia and China? In addition, scientists attribute several incredible man-made caves in the Hongshan culture, which according to scientists, ancient people couldn't have built. Maybe they were helped by aliens, and the ancient Chinese thanked them with souvenirs in the form of their images. In addition to images of aliens, on Earth you can find the aliens themselves, however, no longer alive. For example, in 2016, a mummified skull of an unknown humanoid was found in Peru. Take a look at it. Does it look like a human skull? Of course not. 
Moreover, scientists took its DNA and found out that it doesn't match the DNA of any creature known to science. And this skull was found in Egypt. Once again, we see an elongated head and enlarged eye sockets. These are clear signs that the skull is alien. Many are sure that aliens helped the ancient Egyptians to build the pyramids and maybe even built the pyramids themselves. It's possible that these are the remains of one of the extraterrestrial builders. Scientists have even found full-fledged mummies of strange creatures. For example, the Atacama skeleton. It's a tiny mummy, six inches tall, and has ten ribs instead of twelve, and a very elongated skull. Visually, it's a typical humanoid from a distant galaxy that found its final resting place on our planet. Scientists, of course, do not think so. In their opinion, this is the skeleton of a girl from our planet, which had serious malformations. But theorists are in no hurry to believe scientists and are sure that this is impossible. They think that only someone extraterrestrial could look like this. The Atacama, by the way, is a desert in South America. Aliens are literally attracted to this continent. The Atacama humanoid and the Peruvian skull confirm this. And here's another find from Peru, another alien mummy. It was buried in an unusual position. It was sitting with its arms wrapped around its knees. The height of this creature is normal, about five and a half feet, but its limbs are too long and disproportionate. It's with such limbs that aliens are often depicted. And here's another mummy. It was found in Turkey. Outwardly, it's the most typical appearance of an alien, which has all the classic things, from the eye shape and the eye size to the unusual shape of the head. Moreover, scientists have found that the mummy, despite its age of 10,000 years, even preserved the color of the skin. On some fragments, it remained green. And yet, the main feature of the mummy is the disproportionate size of the eye sockets. They're three times larger than those of the average person. This raises questions. Let's move on now to UFOs. Stumbling upon an alien mummy or finding its remains is something that happens very rarely. UFOs, on the other hand, are a different story. Unidentified flying objects have been seen by many. They're very often filmed and photographed, and their history goes back decades. For a long time, countries tried to keep it all secret, but recently UFOs have become so numerous and they have become such a well-known phenomenon that governments have begun to declassify the data. For example, the Pentagon said that the U.S. military has encountered UFOs more than 650 times. Worldwide, that number is much higher. In addition, countries began to post footage of real UFOs. A few years ago, the Pentagon posted a series of short videos of U.S. military personnel using radar to track various UFOs and not understanding what they were. Perhaps it was some trash or some unknown natural phenomenon. Or perhaps they were aliens. This is evidenced by the fact that they moved quickly, their vehicles looked different than our earthly air vehicles, and in addition, they could not be identified even with all modern technology. Remember what Stephen Greer said? I mean, reconnaissance missions. Maybe the Pentagon has witnessed just such missions. It's possible that these videos show alien reconnaissance drones that studied Earth for their future purposes. It's one thing to see one UFO and quite another to come across a whole fleet of strange objects in the sky. But that's exactly what happened in 1952 in Washington, D.C., when mysterious bright objects circled over the Capitol for several weeks. They were recorded by the military, they were seen by ordinary citizens, and everyone was then convinced that aliens were not some fiction. This incident went down in history as the Washington Flap. Far fewer people know about another incident the Belgian UFO wave. This is another series of UFO sightings. It all happened in Belgium between November 1989 and April 1990. During the alien invasion, people managed to take a very important and interesting picture. This black triangle with four glowing lights. This was clearly not an Earthling fighter jet. The UFO looked like a full-fledged alien ship, ready to abduct anyone. The object was detected by radar and chased by fighter jets but no one was ever able to identify it. Moreover, after the incident, the Belgian government cooperated fully with civilian UFO researchers, something that had never happened before in history. But even the joint efforts and eyewitness testimonies didn't bear fruit. On the other hand, everyone was once again convinced of the existence of extraterrestrials. Who says that aliens have to fly into our atmosphere or land on the surface of Earth? They can watch us from space. 
There's a theory that they do it with the help of the Black Knight. This is a mysterious object that's been found repeatedly in Earth's orbit. It's been known about for a long time, but there's no consensus about it. Scientists believe that the Black Knight is space debris, a fragment of the ISS, or a thing of an astronaut that flew around outer space. Theorists are sure that it's an artificial satellite of aliens, which orbits around Earth for several thousand years. I don't know about you, but I like the satellite version better. It reminds me of a satellite, and at some angles, it even reminds me of a spaceship. Speaking of it, a few years ago, a guest flew in our solar system, a mysterious interstellar object. It was called Aumuamua. It was recorded 124 million miles from Earth. Scientists believe that outwardly it was an oblong object similar to a cigar. In their opinion, it could be an asteroid, but you have to admit that it's very strange. Are asteroids like this? The most elongated asteroids astronomers have seen are at most three times as long as they are wide. Aumuamua was about 1,300 feet long, but 130 feet wide. That's a difference of 10 times. Outwardly? This is a spaceship. Besides, there was no dust or gas around the object. Finally, at some point, Aumuamua suddenly accelerated, as if someone had pressed the gas pedal. Scientists concluded that this couldn't have been due to gravity. Does that mean it was caused by an engine installed in the spaceship? Scientists have a plan to send a small probe to Aumuamua to take pictures of it, then get to Jupiter and send footage back. If everything works out, then we'll know the truth in about 30 years. It's a long time to wait, isn't it? But actually, it could happen a lot faster. And I don't mean encountering the cigar-shaped spaceship, I mean contacting aliens. We don't even have to send probes, we can use communications. Aliens won't call us on the phone, of course, but they can contact us with fast radio bursts. And they're already doing that. That's what the theorists think. In their opinion, this is another important argument in favor of the fact that aliens exist. Fast radio bursts are single radio pulses of a few milliseconds duration of unknown nature. They're registered by radio telescopes. The phenomenon is fairly new. It's only been recorded for about 15 to 20 years. Maybe it's because the aliens were specifically waiting for us to develop our technology to communicate with them. According to scientists, radio bursts are not just some pulses, they are incredibly colossal energy. They generate energy equivalent to what the sun emits into outer space for several tens of thousands of years. Imagine how powerful that is. At the same time, it suggests that the signals are being sent from a distant place. According to scientists' calculations, the sources of signals may be 5.5 billion light-years away. Scientists have already concluded that these are not signals from stars or other astronomical bodies. Maybe it's true that aliens are trying to convey something to us and get in touch with us. Given what you've seen and heard today, you should have no doubt that aliens exist. But should we try to communicate with them? Should we send our probes to their spaceships, study UFOs closely and so on? Personally, I don't think so. Many scientists think the same way. Even the now-deceased Stephen Hawking warned of the dangers of aliens. Obviously, they're far more advanced than you and me, which means we don't stand a chance against them. The aliens could invade, take over Earth and enslave us, and there's nothing we can do about it. In the worst case, they'll get rid of us altogether, because to them, we're brainless savages. That's why many people literally beg scientists to stop drawing attention to us. But there's another version, according to which aliens can become our best friends. So says Gary Nolan, with whom this episode began. According to him, extraterrestrial intelligence has no evil intentions. The professor doesn't think that aliens can attack humanity and abduct or enslave everyone. He and proponents of this theory believe that aliens want to save us because Earth is on the brink of self-destruction. Aliens will help us improve our technology and build a better life on the planet. Let's see how things really work out. Theories are cool, that's for sure. But are there any more actual alien encounters, you ask me? Of course there are, I answer you. An unusual interview. Not so long ago, a rather ambiguous video appeared on the internet in which someone is interviewing a real alien. How exactly this creature contacted people, 
why it helps and gives answers and what it needed, no one's been able to find it out. People only found out that the creature is not an extraterrestrial, it is an evolved human who turned out to be, in fact, a time traveler. He was able to return from the future thanks to advanced technology. He claims that his ancestors were the few humans who survived a nuclear war, which the aliens say will happen in the near future. On the day he was caught, Alien was simply observing people for the sake of his own research. As soon as this video appeared on the internet, it immediately caused a lot of different heated discussions. Some began to deny what was happening in the video and say that it's extremely beautiful, authentic, but still a fake. Other people were convinced that the alien in the video is real. They listened to his advice and are already thinking about how to affect the future of the whole world. You know, I'm usually firmly convinced of whether it's true or fake, but this time I'm really drowning in questions and doubts. On the one hand, it's all true, aliens could really exist, especially since it looks really plausible. On the other hand, I'm confused by some of the answers to the questions. They seem to be similar to all the ones people talk about. In the case of the alien, it seems unnatural. Anyway, write in the comments, what do you think about it? By the way, if that alien's real, why didn't the people in the video even try to ask him for the coordinates of his homeland or a place where such creatures live? Of course, we have all kinds of weird videos from Mars, but people still wanted something more specific. As for the video from another planet, Mars rover accidentally caught mysterious creatures on its camera. Among the red sand and rocks in the photo, you can see three different objects. They're either statues or moving objects. Each has shoulder-length hair and a thin waist. Even the raised arm shows where the sleeve ends and the hand begins. Next to the female figure, there's a silhouette resembling a bald man wearing something green. In front of the two of them, there's something resembling a child who's sitting with his legs outstretched and his hands behind his back. What do you think it could be? A mistake by the Mars rover that took pictures of ordinary objects on Mars or real mystical creatures? And yes, even if they're statues, what are they even doing there? None of the astronauts brought them there. There are no astronauts there at all. So it's either some kind of a gift from the aliens or an object of admiration of the local Martians who are perfectly hidden from public view. The following situation happened in Brazil during the vacation of British tourists. They were just filming the children and didn't see anything wrong or mystical in it. But as soon as the people watched the tape, everything began to fall into place. Watching the replay, people noticed a humanoid type creature in the background, which was motionless and at the same time watching the camera. According to one of the UFOologists who reviewed the footage, people encountered a classic representative of aliens of extraterrestrial origin. Aliens of this species have a large head, huge eyes, and gray skin. You can also make out some kind of strange blue glow next to the alien. While one UFOologist is convinced that we finally have real evidence of aliens, other people are upset by this finding. They were upset by the fact that the alien is very much in line with all the cannons. This is exactly how we imagined it. This is exactly how the aliens look. Of course, this can't help but lead to strange thoughts. In any case, the audience was divided on this issue and still can't figure out who came out of the dispute a winner. A young man who simply enjoys observing outer space decided to explore the moon when suddenly his calm and quiet evening turned into something grandiose and, in a sense, even sensational. He saw three flying objects that flashed right next to the moon. Of course, it's very similar to the alien ships, but at the same time, there may be something much more harmless and rather inanimate in front of us. For example, debris from a meteorite, some space debris, or at the very least, this clip may be fake at all. You know that feeling when you feel like someone's watching you all the time? At one point, it starts to feel like you're sick or like you haven't had enough sleep. But then you do notice that very stalker and you're right. So something similar happened to the girl in the following video, except her ending was obviously more epic. She was flying on a business trip and didn't feel comfortable. She decided to take a selfie and see who was behind her. Maybe the answer to the question would be simple, but I wish I hadn't taken any selfies, really. The girl immediately took a picture of the alien creature, or rather its ghost, that was sitting on one of the plane seats watching her intently. Certainly it could be written off as a fake or as staging, but let's assume that this picture is real. What should we do then? Often people attribute everything inexplicable to staging, editing, and so on. Moreover, the author of the following video was also attributed to liars, but this opinion about him didn't exist for a long time. In short, the footage taken by an ordinary man in Chile shows a white ball flying over the city in the distance, rapidly approaching the place where the cameraman is. It could probably be aliens trying to make contact, or they, like the men in black, wanted to blind the person for a moment and make him forget about everything that had happened. 
Agent K, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. But when other confirmations of the footage appeared on the internet, everyone spoke differently. Already, new people from approximately the same point, but from a different angle, began to shoot and post strange glowing white circles on the internet. So does this mean that aliens can really exist? It's unlikely that people conspired in mass and decided to prank all the locals, right? The biker and his friends literally froze with the camera in their hands when they saw this strange object on the road. It's still impossible to say with certainty whether it was an alien or a person lost in space. The footage showed headlights shining on a thin, pale, human-like figure. At the same time, the creature had rather long arms and legs. Several bikers overtook the stranger, while others didn't go further when it froze and looked in their direction. The like button if you too were expecting the moment when this creature ran toward the people and they quickly turned around and go away. Most of the viewers are convinced we see a simple staging. That is, it's neither an alien nor a random person, but their friend who played the role of the strange extraterrestrial creature. If that's the case, he played it really cool. So cool that I even believed it. But what if there were no staging? If we assume that people often shoot staged video, then how will you react to the birds from the next video? You wouldn't say that they too decided to prank the world. The situation took place in California in broad daylight. The footage shows dozens of screaming crows circling around a dark ball hanging in the sky. Apparently, finding no other explanation for what was happening, eyewitnesses began to exclaim that the strange object in the air was a UFO. It's aliens. Aliens. There's a alien. And you know, I'll join their opinion. Find no other rational explanation for the situation at all. One of the simple versions, by the way, was the theory that the birds were circling in front of a balloon. It sounds plausible, but it's unlikely that the birds would have had such a crazy reaction to it. Robot in Iceland One of the local people who was visiting a popular place in Iceland, the Detafoss Waterfall, was filming it like other visitors to this place, and after watching the video at home, she discovered something strange. The woman noticed that the camera captured a robot or an alien with strange movements. The very place where the main action took place adds to mysticism. The Detafoss waterfall is one of the main landmarks in Iceland. Locals are sure that aliens have visited our planet almost throughout the entire history of mankind. Against this background, the legends of Iceland about trolls and elves take on a completely different meaning. Because of the weather conditions, this area was settled one of the last on Earth people came to this region only in the 9th century AD. The people of Iceland seriously believe in something paranormal. For example, builders consult with folklore experts before designing a new road so as to not accidentally invade the possessions of mythical creatures. So maybe it wasn't an alien, but some ordinary troll or elf caught on camera. The following footage came to us straight from Miami. An ordinary truck driver, along with his partner, witnessed an unexplained phenomenon in the early morning sky. The footage shows ten lights hovering over the ground, which then disappear one by one. And now imagine how much the family of the author of the video was surprised because they know that the head of the family never believed and doesn't believe in aliens until now. I wonder if this video turns out to be real, what kind of lights we are watching? Were they alien ships or something else? Dobby in real life. Dobby's the cute oh. character in the Harry Potter universe who, sorry about the spoilers, though died in one of the episodes, still lives on in our hearts. Although, wait a minute. It seems that fans of the world of magic were so inspired by this character that the eternal pleas for his resurrection worked, Hello. and Dobby was released already in our magic-free world. Or we simple muggles can't even think that the real miracles are happening somewhere around us. Somewhere in the skies above New York City in 2018, a mysterious object flew over. Experts said that the shape and color rule out the possibility that it was a passenger plane. In addition, in slow motion you can see that there's not even a hint of any modern wings. Equally confidently, experts have rejected the version that people just saw a bird or a drone. In their opinion, the object flew too high for a living creature, and it was too big for a drone. So what does it mean? Scientists have put themselves in a dead end? Did they force to admit that it was an unidentified flying object of extraterrestrial design? That's very interesting. Meanwhile, in Japan, an unidentified flying object was spotted over Kyushu Island during the Epsilon 3 rocket launch. As UFOologists say, it was aliens which watched the rocket launch into space. Some viewers are convinced that the lights on the video belong to an ordinary plane. UFOologists object. Flights over Kyushu were forbidden at the time of the rocket launch. However, even their colleagues argue in favor of the UFO's terrestrial origin, 
the footage shows the lights on the object flashing, which, according to UFOologists, is atypical for alien spaceships. That's all, guys. Do you believe in aliens? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.